Mrs. Toggle's Zipper. The story is written by Robin Pulver. She wrote all the words in the story, and it's illustrated by R. W. Alley. R. W. drew all the pictures. Where are these kids going? Yes, they're going to school. And what season is it? Is it winter or summer? That's Mrs. Toggle. Mrs. Toggle is their teacher. When Mrs. Toggle's children arrived at school in the morning, they changed in the hall and they took off their winter uh, coats and boots and they put them away. But they would hang up their coats. Good morning, Mrs. Toggle, the children said in their best morning voices. Good morning, class, said Mrs. Toggle in an unusually grumpy voice. Good morning. Then the children noticed that Mrs. Toggle was still wearing her coat. The big, puffy, fuchsia-colored one that she got for Christmas. Mrs. Toggle, yelled Joey, you forgot to take off your coat. I didn't forget, said Mrs. Toggle uncomfortably. I can't take it off because the zipper is stuck. I'm afraid it's going to be a long, hot day. How'd you get the zipper stuck? Nina asked. Mrs. Toggle fanned her face. How does any zipper get stuck? A little cloth gets caught in it, and then you pull, and you keep pulling a little too hard, and before you know it, you're trapped in your coat like a hand in a cookie jar. The children gathered around Mrs. Toggle's desk to see for themselves. Yep, said Joey. That zicker, zipper sure is stuck, the others nodded. What's worse, said Mrs. Toggle, the thingamajig is gone. The what, said the children, the thingamajig that you pull the zipper up and down with. Mine is lost. Oh, groaned the children. They all thought about their coats hanging on the coat rack and all of them still had their thingamajigs on their coats. Maybe we can help, said Caroline. It's worth a try, said Mrs. Toggle. Mrs. Toggle braced her feet on the floor. She leaned forward in her chair and held out her arms. Some children grabbed one sleeve some grabbed another, the other sleeve, and Paul and Nina grabbed fistfuls of collar. Ready? Now, yelled Mrs. Toggle, and everybody pulled. What do you think is going to happen? You think the coat will come off? Let's see. Everyone landed with thuds and bumps in a heap on the floor. Mrs. Toggle's collar was as far as her nose, but no further than that. Mrs. Toggle, let's go to the nurse's office. Maybe Miss Sarah can help you. So, Mrs. Toggle and the children trudged down to the office of Miss Sarah, the school nurse. 
When Miss Sarah saw Mrs. Toggle's hot red face, she reached for the thermometer and popped it into Mrs. Toggle's mouth. Mrs. Toggle shook her head. I don't have the temperature. Don't talk with a thermometer in your mouth, said Miss Sarah sternly. I'll telephone your mother. I don't live with my mother, mumbled Mrs. Toggle. Mouth closed, Miss Sally ordered. Nina spoke up. She's not sick, and she doesn't live with her mother because she's a grown-up. Mrs. Toggle is hot because she can't get her coat off. The zipper stuck, and the thingamajig is lost. Then we must pull it off, said Miss Sally. I mean, sorry, Miss Sarah. Oh, we tried that already. This time, we'll add a bandage, the nurse answered. Bandages make boo-boos better. But first, Mrs. Toggle, you must take that thermometer out of your mouth. Miss Sarah stuck a bandage on the zipper where the thingamajig was supposed to be. Then she pulled and the children pulled. And they all ended up with thuds, bumps, and bangs on the floor of Miss Sally's, I'm sorry, Miss Sarah's office. Miss Toggle's collar was as far as her nose, but no further than that. Miss Sarah shook her head. I must call the principal. He'll know what to do with you. The principal, Mr. Dudley, left important matters to hurry to get to Miss Sarah's office. Mr. Dudley, he frowned when he saw Mrs. Toggle. He told her, it's against school rules to wear your coat all day. I am sorry, said Mrs. Toggle, but I can't take my coat off. The zipper is stuck. Tell him about the thingamajig, said Nina. The what? Mr. Dudley asked. You know, the what's it, said Paul. The doodad, said Caroline. The whatchamacallit, said Joey. My students are right, said Mrs. Toggle. The thingamajig is missing from my zipper. The principal frowned again. Mrs. Toggle, he said, in my job, you have to get, if you want to get out of a tight spot, you must follow the rules. Pay attention, children. Make two straight lines. One line pull on the right arm, the other line pull on the left. Miss Sarah, you be responsible for the collar. I shall pull on Miss Mrs. Toggle's feet. We've tried that, said Joey. Pulling doesn't work. Did you make straight lines? asked Mr. Dudley. That's the rule. Stay in straight lines. Now, get ready, get set, pull. You think it's going to work this time? Is our coat going to come off? Look at that. They're all pulling. They're in lines, like he said. Let's see what happens. The children and Miss Sarah pulled in one direction. Mr. Dudley pulled in the other, <coughs> other direction. Mrs. Toggle tried to make herself small and wiggly, <coughs> but with thuds, bumps, bangs, and a kerplop, they all ended up on the floor once more. Mrs. Toggle's 
collar was as far as her nose, but no further than that. Mr. Dudley said, Enough of this. We don't want holes in the school floor just because Mrs. Toggle's zipper doesn't work. I'm calling the custodian, Mr. James. I'm afraid he'll have to cut this coat off. No, yelled the children, and Miss Mrs. Toggle cried, Never! The custodian, Mr. James, arrived wearing his big work apron. Tools bulged in every pocket. He looked at Mrs. Toggle in her coat. Is the building too cold for you? he asked kindly. Maybe the thermostat's off in your room. I'll go check. Wait, said Mrs. said Mr. Dudley. Mrs. Toggle can't get her coat off because the zipper is stuck, said Caroline. And there's a problem with the thingamajig. Mr. Abel, I'm sorry, Mr. James listened carefully. Hmm, he said. I can see the pool tab is gone. The what? said the children and Mrs. Toggle. And the nurse and the principal all together. I said, the pool tab is gone. Don't worry, I've seen worse. So the thingamajig is called a pool tab. Mr. James pulled out some pliers and worked on loosening the zipper and eased the lining away from the teeth of the zipper and then he used the pliers to pull down on the zipper and this coat opened completely. Mr. James helped Mrs. Toggle off with her coat. A happy smile spread over Mrs. Toggle's face. Miss Sarah and Mr. Dudley and the children cheered. Hooray! You should get a new pull tab for that zipper before you zip it up again, said Mr. James. I am forever grateful to you, Mr. James. Thank you for helping me. The principal went back to important matters. Miss Sarah rushed off to check on another child who was sick. Mrs. Toggle and the children went back to their room to work on learning their numbers. And Mr. James went off to <coughs> work, help in the cafeteria.